Hello and a very warm welcome to match three of LPGA eTour Live with WGT by Top Golf. This match is Tiff Joe versus Jenny Shin, and I am joined by the lovely Tom Abbott from Golf Channel. Uh, Tom, you've relocated to England. How's it going? I have, I have, because this match is going to take place at St Andrews. So I figured I'd be a little bit closer to the action by coming over to London, where it's been a beautiful day today, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's kind of the end of happy hour, but um, I think we're going to have a good time with these two players. Hopefully their golf doesn't lead us to drinking. I don't think it will. I think they're going to be able to survive this game without embarrassment. I, I hope so. I know it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope that it doesn't lead you to biscuit munching. I know you have some of my favorite biscuits there, uh, which I'm not overly pleased about. We're going to translate that. We're not talking about biscuits and gravy. We're talking about cookies, obviously. Two countries separated by a common language. Uh, yeah, I'll be able, I'll bring everything you need back, um, but uh, I won't make you too jealous by uh, eating any of your favorite snacks during the matches over the next few weeks don't worry so very kind of you so kind of you now we're on a little bit of a different time zone it's quarter past 11 here um tiff jenny and myself are all over on the west coast and uh tiff has started her day as she means to go on in her dinosaur onesie comfort yeah. levels right now tiff yeah i'm i'm feeling pretty good this is uh obviously my my quarantine outfit it's hugging me in all the right places which is absolutely nowhere but yeah. um yeah i mean I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. It's all about comfort. So I'm feeling very comfortable right now. Definitely. I mean, you need to be able to move, you need to be able to move those thumbs, move those fingers. Uh, have you warmed up suitably for this match? Yeah, I've been doing some some of my finger aerobics. I've been foam rolling my finger. So um, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling really good. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Jenny, you are in Vegas and you are the smartest out of all of us. I'm happy to see that somebody has made an effort today. I know it was like my one time that I dressed up because it's it's Zoom time and uh, oh my gosh, Tiffany, you are so funny. I love how like she grabbed her boobs as soon as she said comfort. <laughs> I am dying right now. Might I say, Jenny, you are looking quite dynamite. No. Anyone? No. I was, that was okay. Oh, I see what you mean now. Yeah, I don't, yeah, Dino might. Yeah. Uh, were you expecting for that joke to uh, blow up? No. By the way, Tim, you always wear onesies. This isn't your quarantine outfit. This is like your normal outfit. We see you in these all the time. Yeah, this, this is actually like my formal nice onesie. This is the oh, one okay. I wear okay. for a night out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the special occasion onesie. Yep. Um, now, for those of you who haven't before seen uh, any of our matches, um, this is a new virtual golf event featuring eight of the very best LPGA players, and they are e-golf matchups on WGT by Top Golf. So if you are inspired or horrified by any of the golf that you see today, feel free uh, to download WGT, give it a go. It's available uh, in all app stores. And they, I can say that there are loads of upgrades, lots of funky outfits that we're going to unfortunately <clears throat> see today. Um, <laughs> No, but it's a lot of fun. This is a seven game series. Um, as I said, this is the third game. The winner of this game is going to take on the winner of game four, which will be on Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. And that will be between Jane Park and Lucy Lee. So a potential grudge match there, Tiff. I can't wait. I, there was quite a bit of smack talking going on last time. So um, yeah, that should be a really good matchup. Lucy Lee seems like someone who would be really good at games though, because she's like that generation, you know? Kind of like Jenny's generation with a full headset and like she's got the whole gamer console thing going on. So, yeah, uh, Jenny, did you hear how she pretty much gave herself this match? Then she just said it's going to be fun. <laughs> it just, that's a lot of confidence. I don't, use that as fuel, Jenny. Use that as fuel. <laughs> um, so all the matches are Wednesdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Eastern. And may I have a drum roll now while I announce what the overall winner will get? Thank you. The overall winner will win an Acer Swift 7 laptop, Ooh. as well as uh, you get a laptop for a hole in one. So as you mentioned, Jenny, you're a big gamer. There's a lot of tech up for grabs here. 
Yeah, I'm I'm all acered out because my laptop, my game monitor, my everything's acer. So addition of another acer would be amazing. Wow, so she's she's really giving herself this match too. Come on, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Before we get going, um, Tom and myself will uh, pepper you with our questions throughout, as well as watching your gameplay. So uh, you, the viewer, can get to know these players a little bit better. And if you have any of your own questions, please feel free to put them in the chat below and we will ask the women your question. Um, another point as well, this is obviously going to be fun, but it's not just for fun, it's also benefiting uh, charity. This is supporting the CDC Foundation and there is a link in the description below with more information on how to donate as we go along. So, shall we get going? St. Andrews, the iconic St. Andrews, how have you got it set up, Tiff? Is it windy? Is it calm? Um, I was going to set it up super windy and fast, but I mean, I'm sure we want to finish nine holes at some point. So I'm, uh, I did move us back a tee, but um, I put the wind at moderate. So I think, I think that should be good. So what I'm hearing is we might see some good scoring here. Or some bad. I don't, it's, it's a mixed bag. I'm not sure what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates. <laughs> Life and the Etor are like a box of chocolates. <laughs> Ooh, I, I haven't, I don't remember this nine very well, actually, now that I think about it. When I did a practice round, I did it on the other nine, but Jenny okay. threw, me, threw me through a loop. Let's look see. at the outfit. Yeah, look at the outfit. That outfit is a lot. Yeah. What's the headgear? What, what's the headgear all about? A little jester's cap. Oh, jester, okay. Because of all my great puns, no? Okay. <laughs> oh right, yep. That. Yep. Well, you got us underway nicely. I'm not sure if that was a smart play. No, <laughs> I can't oh, believe you were playing the wind. That's smart. Well, I've got a great club in my back, so I'm gonna outdrive you. For those of you who haven't seen this platform before, WGT, um, you have to stop the green bar in the middle of the light blue section. And I if think you just driven it on, you just drove it on the green. Oh You're in trouble. But this is a perfect shot here. Keep going. Keep rolling. I mean, good shot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what driver are you using? Um, I don't know. The, the one that they gave me, oh man, chipping's the hardest thing for me too, goodness. I did not, I did not play smart here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna flop everything. <laughs> I mean, seems like a good tactic around St. Andrews. That seems like a good Lynx strategy. Yeah, <laughs> flop everything. <laughs> it worked out. Yeah, okay. It's okay, I'm on the green. <laughs> This is the key though, St. Andrews, is long putting. If you can lag up the long putts, you usually can uh, survive. Jenny, your, your outfit is actually quite sharp, like in real life and on the game. <laughs> Get in. Oh my God. Whoa, no, lag it up. What about right in there? Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Jenny, have you been practicing? How much have you played? This is impressive from what I'm seeing so far. No. Um... I actually practiced for the first time yesterday. Did but you did not concede that part? <laughs> no, I saw a no clicked there. <laughs> I'm not giving her that part. Look at that. Wow, an up and down. Can you give me this part too? <laughs> <laughs> All right, first hole, halved in birdies. You said you wanted to see birdies today, Jenny, and shoot under par, so here we go. Yeah. Jenny, I wasn't expecting that just because um, in our little two hole practice on you, I think you bogeyed both of the holes or something. <laughs> I'm a little upset. I feel like I'm getting sandbagged right now. Yes, um, a lot of sandbagging today. But Jenny, you're quite the gamer, aren't you? I am. Um, I I love playing games. I recently did an interview with the esports broadcaster Aaron um, 
Aaron Simon about playing games and being obsessed with like League of Legend and playing it on mobile, playing it on, sorry, let me focus real quick. <laughs> you gotta avoid the bunkers on this part yeah. three. Let's not talk about bunkers. I don't like to talk about negativity on the golf course. <laughs> okay, no, just not get close, just not get close. Oh, snap, sit, oh, dang it. Okay. Keep going, I mean, sit. <laughs> I can just feel Jenny's intensity right now. Yeah, it's drawing me in. I think we should ask her a bunch of questions right now just to distract her. I'm nervous. Now. I don't want to be blamed for any potential bad shots via distraction. Um, all right. I guess, I guess <clears throat> it's my turn. Yeah, I think that's why I like games because I'm so competitive. <laughs> But I don't mind losing, you know? It's not yeah. like I throw a tantrum when I lose. <laughs> Wait, can I make my avatar? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I pulled that really bad. I was gonna ask, can I make my avatar throw a tantrum? <laughs> Concede putt, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I think someone wearing a jester's hat on a golf course throwing a tantrum would be amusing. <laughs> yeah. Would be different, we'd not seen that before. <laughs> are you gonna give this to me jenny yes yes thanks bud <laughs> what a pal <laughs> all square through two right oh yeah. man this is intense the last time i played saint andrews was actually during curtis cup so oh that's a while back what was that yeah oh, it was okay. a really long time ago yeah. so i who don't was on that team who was on that team um stacy lewis amanda blumenhurst um Goodness, who else? Allison Walsh. Um, let's see. I don't know, Jenny Lee. Oh, all I remember is at one of the dinners. Um, uh oh. Okay, that's okay. At one of the dinners, Brianne Laux looked over at Jenny and said, Jenny, are you all selected or is it based on merit? <laughs> we were like, what's merit? <laughs> like, we never heard that word before. So, yeah, that was my best accent, by the way. It's not going to get any better than that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Just to clarify, Brianne, uh, bless her, is Welsh, and that was a attempt at a Welsh accent. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only one I can do point. specifically what she said. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was really cool um, because we had the RNA clubhouse split. So the US had one side as their team room, and uh, Great Britain and Ireland had the other side as their team room, which is pretty cool um that is cool and my fondest memory is watching stacy lewis so nervous on the first tee that she like chunked it and then <laughs> ended up like one hopping her neck shot over the burn and still made par so <laughs> uh, i will say for such a wide fairway that is such a nerve-wracking first tee shot and you stand there in the tee and you think i can't possibly miss this fairway <laughs> you can <laughs> you can let's see there's so much going on on that hole though when you stand on the first tee. There's people milling around, there's cars driving along. I mean, it's, uh, yeah. it's an incredible scene. Yeah, absolutely. It's a special place for sure. Um, what year did we play the British Open here though? 2015? Yeah. 2016? I, th I think 2016. 16. Off the top of my head. Oh, look at this. That's like the, this is the first time where I learned you can play this course backwards. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you can actually play the entire 18. I kind of wish I had a local caddy on my bag right now because <laughs> I just remember last time I played, I like didn't even know where to aim. <laughs> like so many of the shots, I had no clue which way I was going. Yeah, local caddies help exponentially on Lynx golf, especially in St. Andrews. They know pretty much every single break in the greens. Concede putt, no, goodness. 
I mean, I know you can make it, Jenny, so. <laughs> Burden. Let's end. You're a lot better than Jane. <laughs> hey, you guys, I, I mean, this is impressive. <laughs> the best quality of golf we've seen so far. Yeah, I was going to say, this is the best This so is far. definitely a lot better than my actual quality of golf right now. <laughs> so we Have are you been playing any golf? Chip, have you been playing any golf? Like three or four holes, but it hasn't been pretty. I was telling Jenny that uh, yesterday I went and played five. Well, I tried to play five holes and I had to walk in after three holes because I ran out of golf balls. So <laughs> looking real sharp, guys. <laughs> but you have been surfing a lot. I have been surfing a lot. <laughs> so I have that going for me, which is nice. Hey, it's still athleticism. It will hopefully rub off onto the golf game. Oh, so bunkers are bad, right? Yes. Oh, okay, we're okay. Whew, man, this is nerve wracking. <laughs> let's um, let's have a side bet. Oh, okay. Um, can I do my first side bet? Okay. Do you want to start it on this hole? Yeah. So the loser of this hole has to wear a onesie of the winner's choosing at the next player meeting. If you lose, it'll probably be this one. And I probably won't wash it. <laughs> Ew, that's gross. <laughs> Get my musk all up in it. Oh. <laughs> I will add to that, that the loser has to answer a couple of trivia questions as posed by Tom and myself. Okay. As long as they're not math questions, because we all know Jenny is going to get those and I won't. <laughs> hey, Jenny, yeah. you've been studying right you've been studying math is that true yeah that is that is true it's a very stereotypical thing it is but um <clears throat> i realized oh crap oh no i might actually wear the onesie no <laughs> it's horrible okay um i realized like the first few years on tour when i was doing like math with my caddy if he'll say like, oh, what's 167 minus 34? I'll just get it right away. But then this being my 10th year on tour, my caddy would be like, all right, uh, 163 minus 17. I'll be like, um, I'm gonna have to write it down because I, like, I can't do it in my head anymore. And I was like, am I dumb now? Like, have I dumbed down after being on tour for 10 years? So I was like, I'm gonna take this time and um, do some, mathematic problems. Jen Jenny, it could just be getting older and getting a little bit more <laughs> like scattered brain as well. This morning, I couldn't even remember where I parked my car after I went surfing. So I like aimlessly wandered around for a solid 20 minutes. <laughs> you got a lot of things to look forward to, kid. <laughs> Tip, how old are you? 33. Wait, am I? <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> Oh, Jenny. This is so BS. Um, how many over am I right now? <laughs> I also have a penguin onesie and a sloth onesie. I have a giraffe onesie. <laughs> Just so I can mentally prepare myself, when do you think our next meeting is going to be? <laughs> <laughs> no clue, but you're going to look really good. <laughs> Ooh, what else do I have? <gasps> oh, oh, no. I looked up. Oh. Oh. I gotta, I gotta get these, my teeth out of the way. They're blocking my vision. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't put a lot of thought into my outfit for today. I think I just like assumed that if I look good, I would play good. But now I'm realizing that there were a lot of things I, I should have thought of beforehand. <laughs> like your, not sharing my vision. <laughs> your outfit on the game or... In. Oh no, my outfit on the game, I, I stand by. <laughs> Where are we standing on this hole here? I've lost track. This this should be conceded, surely. I know, you would think that the person that I'm yeah. playing right now would concede this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> she did. Damn it, I got peer pressure. <laughs> okay, so first blood has been drawn both on the golf course and in the betting room. We can now expect to see perhaps an Instagram live of Jenny wearing a onesie as worn by uh, Tiff today. Unwashed. And unwashed. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I, I, I'm kidding. I'll wash it. I'll wash it. <laughs> have you ever worn? Have you ever worn a onesie, Jenny? I can't see you as a onesie wearer. <laughs> no, I'm usually in like stilettos and um, short, short mini dress. <laughs> so that would be a no. I think I have a, a onesie that stilettos might go well with, actually. Oh, I would actually wear it with my with my heels. I, I will definitely wear it with my Christian Louboutin heels. Um, wow, a humble brag. <laughs> so you're not going to wear it with your Crocs like I do? <laughs> Now, part of this bet loss uh, is two trivia questions. Tom, you can do one, and I have one here. Uh, would you like to go first, or do you want me to go first? You go ahead, you go ahead. I've got to pick my favorite one. All right, so, Jenny, if you could jump into a pool full of something, what would it be, and why? Um, what? Why would I jump into a pool money. full of money? I would jump into a pool of money. No, no. <laughs> exactly. Or like Willy Wonka film, you could jump into a pool of chocolate. The yeah. possibilities are truly endless. Oh, okay, okay. Or champagne or, I mean, the world is your oyster. Mimosas. I jump into a pool of mimosas. That would be a good time. Mm -hmm. I, I want to quarantine with you, Jenny. <laughs> You sound like fun. <laughs> I had so much liquor in my pantry the last seven weeks. <laughs> and but the important that, thing is it's not there anymore. Right. That was going to be my follow-up question. Yeah, it's, it's not there anymore. <laughs> what is your go-to drink? Is it the mimosa? No, um, I've been... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Here oh, we go. Yeah. Hey, uh, I should have done a side bed here. <laughs> oh no, should I, should I go sideways? <laughs> so, um, I had wine bottles, Tito's, Absolute Goose, White Claw, um, and I've moved on to whiskey at the moment. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out where this comes in to play with um, the maths, the hiking, or the gaming. No, 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 see, that was, that was, you know, how, okay, sorry. I told you, like, I was doing really good, and then I kind of lost it in that two-week binge time. Yeah, I, I think I was, the people haven't heard about this, the um, ups and downs of the food world for you in yes has been a bumpy road so tiff recently posted on instagram saying oh i'm gonna go into this quarantine being really productive working out like three times a day and be really fit and then like two days later she's like drinking and like just completely losing it yeah i was definitely doing that the first few weeks of the quarantine i was working out three times a day eating really healthy practicing golf and then Vegas was like, oh, we're going to shut down the golf course. And I was like, well, <laughs> that's done. So then I started drinking literally from 10 a.m. in the morning. And then I'll be so blacked out by 10 p.m. Like, I wouldn't remember what happened. <laughs> and this is by myself, too. So <sighs> What a role <I> model. <laughs> I, I will say that my my new low point that I discovered was when I used the, the little um, portable vacuum to um, vacuum Pringles crumbs out of my bed sheets because I'd been snacking in bed so much. And then I was like, oh, I got some in my hoodie too. So I had to like vacuum my hoodie and I was like, wow, well, this is not how I saw quarantine going at all. <laughs> You can't, you know, you can't change the bed sheets. You just put them in the in the washing machine. You don't have <laughs> to vacuum. But if you if you're having them. to change them every day, but at a certain point, it's like, just vacuum those crumbs, you know. <laughs> Fair enough. And I think it's a little um, 
It's a little tough because I'm, you know, watching a lot of the girls on following them on Instagram and I'm seeing like, wow, they're being super productive and they're learning new hobbies and um, oh, yeah. them are working out a ton. Um, I have not been doing that. <laughs> Although Henny and I got on our Peloton bikes together after our last match, so. We did. I got a new PB. I did not keep up with you or Jihei at all, but um, I did, you pushed me to a new PB, so. Yeah, there we go. Yes, it was good. You guys have uh, but Jenny, bike? you're back on track now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um oh my god oh, what a bogey oh that was a dirty bogey there dirty that is that is the definition of sandbagging can you please give me this part <laughs> no <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and let you putt that <laughs> you're a savage how can you make me putt this <laughs> two inch putt <laughs> all right still one down um tom your question for jenny quickly my question for jenny is what's your most embarrassing story from being on the road on the lpga tour oh uh i can't you say can that. you can think about this if yeah, you want to um think about this take a moment most embarrassing i probably can't say on camera okay. Um, so that's that's really uh, embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, no, it's almost kind of disgusting. So I don't really want to say. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's avoid that. Um, hey, let's have a side bet. Sorry, before I answer the question, <laughs> I'm gonna. Um, oh, you hit before we even agreed on it. Yeah. Let's. Okay, so if you lose this hole. I'm going to make you listen to your own um, recordings on Instagram. <laughs> and I got this idea from one of the fans I was doing an Instagram live with. They're like, oh, make her listen to her songs on Instagram that, that she posts. And I was like, that is the greatest idea ever because... How do we put this thing on mute? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have... I don't know. You, know, you have to listen to it. So, um, yeah, that's a deal. You good? Are you going to take that back? Yeah, I mean, I think I have to. <laughs> okay, so what if I lose? What's what's my? Oh, well, let me see. Okay, if you lose, <laughs> she wrote them down. <laughs> Aaron, a couple. If you lose on your next errand run, you have to wear a sports bra as a mask and take a picture and put it oh on. Oh your... my god, <laughs> that was a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> I was really excited about that one. <laughs> I can't wait to bust this one out. <laughs> All right. How would that even be feasible? I don't know. I mean, oh, there's some instructional videos. You could pretty much turn anything okay. into these days. Okay. Okay. Not that I've tried or done any experimentation or anything weird like that. Cause you know. No, absolutely not. <laughs> she says with Diana. Oh no. In her eyes. Oh no. Did I you didn't like calculate the fact that I was in the fescue? <laughs> this is a big opening here for Jenny. Jenny, you said I'm giving us an embarrassing story, but I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking yes, about it. Um, I'll keep it pretty PG. I think the most embarrassing moment is probably when I got really mad and I smashed my driver, and um, it literally broke in half. And the rules official was like, "Did you? Was it like accidental? Was it?" intentional and I was like um <laughs> what do you think guys <laughs> asking my playing partners they're like uh intentional <laughs> that was probably like one of the most embar I have so many stories I just can't remember it right now um but yeah and that was at the U.S. Open on the ninth hole too Oh, so not not a big event then. Just no, no. you didn't need the driver too much. Nothing on the line or anything. Yeah, I was like, do I like make the cut? Do I? What? I would say your bunker shot isn't as gnarly as mine was. <laughs> Did, you well Did you see that? Wow. Yeah. Oh man. 
Very uh, impressive. Get so awkward. <laughs> down. Ugh. You're going down. You're gonna you're gonna listen to your own voice. Oh, uh, this is gonna get so awkward. I don't usually side with bets, but I would also like to hear this. <laughs> oh man. For those of you wondering what this recording is, um, Tiff is multi-talented golfer, surfer, and guitarist slash singer, singer slash songwriter, I should say, because she has been reworking some lyrics to famous songs. And if you go on her Instagram um, or Twitter, you can see and hear these lovely renditions there. I actually think they're pretty good. I, I've been enjoying them. I think it's a lot like, um, like, listening to your voice on an answering machine. <laughs> what? Oh! What the hell? Oof. What the hell? <laughs> no. Please miss that. I do not want to wear a sports bra as a mask. That is so disgusting. <laughs> you have to post it on. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, goodness. Wait, what, what are you putting for Jenny? Okay, I'll concede oh. that. So no blood. Okay, no blood. On to the next. <laughs> oh, wow. Is this bet going to carry over to the next hole? Oh, is it, or we, yeah. is it, or like, does it get even worse? Is it double? <laughs> Do you add things on? <laughs> wow. Oh, I don't know, is that what you want to do, Jenny? Do you want to add stuff on? What yeah. other item of clothing does she need to use the mask? <laughs> What do you, what's on, what's next on your list? I'm actually really curious. Okay. Um, the next one is the loser posts an Instagram video of them smearing ketchup on their forehead to the appropriate audio from the Lion King. Simba. <laughs> oh my God. So that's the kind of thing that Jay would be great at, I think. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> um, what should I do? Are there any like uh, um, recommendations from the viewers? Well, let's ask. Yeah. Viewers, if you have any recommendations of bets for uh, Tiff to add on to the existing one of the horror of listening to her own voice singing, then please do let us know. Perhaps we can make you play something. Oh gosh. <laughs> Unlike the spoons, <laughs> on no. the flute. I think there's it's an ad rendition. I think it would be lovely. Um, <laughs> this is awkward. The awkwardness, <laughs> here, Jenny. <laughs> Look how uncomfortable she is. I think that should be the addition. What do you think, Tom? Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh oh. That that just went in the bunker, which could really affect the bet. Um, but sure, I think we should do that. And by yeah. the way. Tiff, when did you first start doing these videos? I remember years ago you doing. Oh, I think my rookie this year, like I started doing parody videos and then Jihei Lee kind of just got me back into it because she started doing some parody videos. But Jihei is actually legitimately a good singer. So she actually has a little bit of range, which is why if you've noticed when we do duets, I've been singing the boys part. <laughs> uh, that's okay. really the only part I can do. She Haley may have starred in, in one or two of your videos in the early days, if I remember. Correctly. Yes, she did. Um, yeah, we were really close travel buddies back in the day. So um, it's been actually really fun during this quarantine time to kind of reconnect with her and um, be able to do some of these projects. She's also like, I'm sure you've noticed a lot more organized than I am. So she's had to be a little bit of a taskmaster. So I'll like commit to something and then like fall very, very deep into a Netflix show. So she's been had to kind of crack the whip a little bit, which has been good for me. This is a tough green. It is. Two very similar putts though. If I was just saying um, for my second bet, I want you to rap because you're a really good rapper. <laughs> We've just had a, um, before you commit to anything, Oh gosh. We've had a suggestion okay. from a viewer that says, get Tiff to wear stilettos and a onesie on her next errand run. Oh, that's an amazing. I've never seen Tiffany wear anything higher than 
two inches. Yeah, because it's it's reckless. I might sprain something. Oops. Oh, see, the, that's, yeah, I wouldn't want to think to get that's, that's dangerous. I mean, although, like, we do have a little bit of time off, so maybe. Um... Are you going to buy that, Jenny, that she's going to injure herself wearing shoes that millions of people wear every day? <laughs> no, but I've. I actually know like what it feels like to sprain your ankle wearing heels and I wear five inch heels. So <laughs> wear five inch heels. Don't go in. Okay. Oh. Little body English. Do that. I'm nervous. <laughs> I, I'm going to put the suggestion forward for platform heels. <laughs> be a nice uh, compromise. I see what you're doing here. <laughs> Oh, oh, how about this? How about this, Tiff? How about on our next meeting, not a player meeting, but next time we meet at a golf course, let me do your makeup. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, isn't that like, isn't that way better than wearing stilettos? Because you can actually injure yourself. Okay, fine. I can't. Gosh, I hope you don't make this though. <laughs> Maybe you'll put this off the green. Holy sh. Oh, still a little bit of meat left on that bone, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, you better make this. You're one down. Oh man, Jenny, what's going on? This is no, super I the gamer headphones and everything. I want my laptop. Hold on. <laughs> Let me focus. <laughs> I can cut the tension with a knife. <laughs> Wait, did we go past the jigger in yet? <laughs> Not quite. You oh, you've got half a hole to go. Ooh, that was my spot. <laughs> By the way, those golf balls just hit each other on the green. <laughs> <laughs> I think my, her ball actually went through mine. Saved <laughs> <laughs> you a bit there, Jenny. Like a ghost. <laughs> are we dormy? Uh, you are. Well, it yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting around. Oh, uh, you're losing. <laughs> oh, we're getting still a iconic shot though. Okay, so I lost, so I have to do um, bra on my face, and then <laughs> the Simba. Wait, mark. bra on my face, and then what? The Simba ketchup mark. Oh yeah, the Simba. <laughs> Oh man, your Instagram feed is gonna be so entertaining. Ooh, wind off of the right. This is gonna be. Should I take the? Should I take the Dustin Johnson line? <laughs> yeah, go for it. I'm right over the it. corner of the hotel. You're playing the outfit anyway. Also, you're wearing the outfit. You can't play safe in that outfit. No. Are you going to the windows? Where are you going? That's a pretty oh, good look at line. That. It's a snap hook. Oh. That's okay. That was a little aggressive, but. You know, where are you aiming? <laughs> I'm pretty sure an alternate shot, I was partners with Amanda Blumenhurst and I made her hit this two shot. I was like, I'm not hitting that two shot. I don't care what other holes I have to tee off on. I was like, you do the over the hotel shot. But she was a long hitter though. Yeah. Ooh. Have you ever stayed? Have you ever stayed in the hotel? Um, we, I think we did stay in that hotel, actually, all of us. It's one of the great US spots team. in the game. Mm. The bars there are wonderful. Keep, keep Jenny, keep <laughs> Jenny away from the bars. Jenny with alcoholic <laughs> recommendation. I, was, I meant that for the decor and the feel. And the, like an old English, I, I'll stop. There is a pub just up. The Road Hole Bar and the Jigger Inn, very famous, yeah. yes. The Jigger Inn, yeah. Uh-oh. I stayed in the bed and breakfast just across the street from that bar. It was very nice. Ooh. Did it go on the road? I think it yes, did. Yes, it did. Why do I have a six lions? It are these like are these a recommended clubs? Is that why they're giving us a six iron? I think so. Are we allowed to use lasers or <laughs> Yeah, can we? Yeah, lasers are permitted in this. Yeah, not in when the AIG Women's British Open goes there, <laughs> but 
in this one you can use. But is this uh, kind of like the tailor-made release match where you can just kind of use your finger like DJ did to move your ball marker? It's not like totally. Did you see that? That was that made me laugh. It just flicked it over one putt length there or thereabout. I was like, the next best thing would be is if he used like a like a leaf to mark his ball or something, because that's what I would do in a match like that. No. It was fun seeing those those players so relaxed though. Yeah, it was really cool. I definitely would love to see more things like that. Um, and especially with a lot of the players living in Florida, I feel like it wouldn't be too difficult to coordinate. There's not uh -oh. a play. Oh, oh, oh. Jenny, things are going horribly wrong here for you. This, this is not right. I am I would not hit a bunker shot like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's funny is Jane was really struggling around the greens and she's got like an incredible short game. And so she was like, I don't, I don't know what this is, but <laughs> I can't figure it out. I was shocked at her score. What didn't she have like a 56 in the front uh, in nine holes or something? Yeah, it was rough. Sit. Go. Uh, that when, that like, was to win. That was to win the match, by the way. When, when we actually played in this match, she actually played pretty well and strung together some birdies, but our first match, it was rough. <laughs> it took us like three hours to play nine holes. Ooh, Jenny. Please go in. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, wow. Huge. <laughs> Huge moment on the road. This, this, you what? still have a chance. This Wait, what? <laughs> That's oh, right. What are you putting for? Just for par. This is to win. Yeah, this is to win. Oh my up. gosh. Ooh, this, I'm, this, I'm nervous. Don't take too much time. Shh. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, goodness. Oh, dear. That is it. I'm afraid. <laughs> Seth Joe is the champion of today's match. She has won herself a ticket into the next round, into the semifinals. You have won yourself a two, well, three bets, which consist of forcing Jenny to wear a onesie at the next player meeting, a bra as a mask the next time she runs errands, and having to smear ketchup on her forehead Simba style while playing Lion King music. Um, I will hand down now to Tom Abbott for the winner's interview. Well, I, I gotta say that um, I feel really feel for Jenny. I mean, she comes out of this with a lot to deal with. Um, and Tiffany, you you must feel that you you went overboard a little bit with some of these bets. I mean, this is going to be tough for Jenny. I mean, she's going to be really embarrassed by what oh. she has to do, surely. All I can say is that her social media feed is going to be very entertaining. And um, I'm very excited for that player meeting. I think I have a couple onesies in mind. I think I'll actually give her a choice, but um, I'm I'm quite excited and obviously just over the moon to to have won this match. Well, we know that she's not going to be going to any more player meetings until you've forgotten about the bets, and she's not going to be running errands until you've forgotten about these bets. So at least she's got that going for her. Um, <laughs> you actually played St. Andrews because you played in the Curtis Cup um, way back, and not many people get to play match play on the old course, but you had a chance to do it. Is that one of your favorite memories in your time as a pro? Or not in your time playing the game, you went a pro at the time. Oh, absolutely. Competing on a Curtis Cup team was probably one of the highlights of my life. And, and it was great because, you know, for, you know, how we, there were only two teams there and we pretty much had the course to ourselves that entire week. And I just remember we got in there Sunday night and our captain, Carol Semple Thompson was like, all right, so you guys can play as many practice rounds as you want, but keep in mind, this is a long week, so don't tire yourselves out. And I think we all still were playing like 54 holes a day just because I mean you don't get an opportunity like that every day so um it was it was actually really really special to, to take part in that I love asking you serious golf questions whilst you're wearing a onesie <laughs> as a dinosaur <laughs> <laughs> what is that <laughs> this is my tail <laughs> oh, okay I just wanted to make sure um 
So looking ahead to this next match, Jane Park and Lucy Lee, you're going to be playing the winner. Mm -hmm. um, you have some history with Jane Park. Lucy Lee may be too young to have history with you. Are you intimidated by either one? Do you feel like your prowess on this game is going to be good enough to see you through even further? You know, I think if Jane ends up getting through, I have, I like my chances, <laughs> to be honest. But um, Lucy is, she's a little bit of a dark horse. Like, I don't, I don't know. I've never played with her. I've never played against her before. Um, and I know that the younger generation tends to be a little bit better with this kind of technology kind of thing, more so than the older generations, such as myself. So um, yeah, that's a little bit of a, that's a red flag to me right there. But yeah, I think if Jane can get her a short game together um, and has, if she can get through that round, I think I can just steamroll her in the next round. <laughs> well, I wish you all the best. Penny, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? It, it is. I, I hear a lot of confidence there. I definitely, I enjoyed that interview, Tom. I enjoyed uh, very much Tiff answering questions, serious golf questions with the teeth just over her eyes. Um, just quickly, before we wrap up, uh, Jenny, um, commiserations on your loss, but how will the rest of quarantine go for you? Are we seeing a upward hiking trajectory or might we see a return to the, the liquor cabinet? No, I, I am out of liquor and tip. I haven't been doing much errands because I've been doing Instacart. <laughs> So it might be a while since I, uh, it might be a while till I wear that. Sports. By the way, I had like, th like two or three oh, other wow. bets that I didn't even get to. So consider yourself lucky. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know how lucky I'll be, but um, I will definitely be on an incline doing um, much more productive things. Yeah, from what we heard, you're studying maths, you're hiking like a demon. And what was the thing that you said that was like climbing? Scrambling? Scrambling. You've been scrambling. Scrambling, yeah. Studying and back on your strict diet. So it's sounding good. And I'm glad that the these little series of losses that you experienced today are not gonna derail you. No, they they've made me stronger. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you would like to join everyone else in supporting Team Tiff Joe, you can do that this. Friday at 2 p.m. to see if maybe Jane will win or Lucy Lee will win to who she has to face. And then you can bring your onesies out, don the onesies uh, next Wednesday and watch the semi-final match. Um, you can follow along on lpga.com forward slash e-tour to see how the tournament progresses and all the ways to watch. And some key dates for you, semi-finals are on May 27th and 29th. And the final, which Tiff will hope to be in, in still in the running to win an Acer laptop will be on June the 3rd. So we all have our fingers crossed for you. Um, ladies, it's been wonderful to chat to you today. Loads of laughs. Uh, keep enjoying yourselves during lockdown. Tom, uh, keep having as many biscuits as you can for me in Sunday roast, please. It's been a pleasure Absolutely. as always. I will. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye for now. <laughs>